Now here we have a inequality, a quadratic inequality, 6 minus x minus 2x squared is less than 0. Now the first thing I notice in this one is that the x squared term is negative. And personally, I always like to make the x squared term positive. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is multiply through by negative 1. But you've got to be very careful because of the inequality, which I'll explain uh, when we get there. Multiplying through by minus 1 gives minus 6 plus x plus 2x squared. But when you multiply through by a negative number, you must always remember to reverse the inequality sign. So it is less than here, so reversing it makes it a greater than. And then negative 1 times 0 is still 0. OK. Next, we have to get this ready for factorising. And personally, I always like to start with the x squared term at the front. So we'll put that at the front. And we have 2x squared plus x minus 6 is more than 0. Then the quadratic, we hope, factorises. And in this particular one, it does. Um, if it doesn't factorize, what we can do is use the quadratic formula. But uh, this one does factorize, and so we'll put that in like so. Don't forget the greater than 0 on the end. So we're going to have a 2x and an x. And then we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give that minus 6. And so what we've got here then is a 3 and a 2, so put 3 there and a 2 there, I can see that I'm going to get 3x and 4x, so if I make that a plus there, I've got plus 4x, and this one a minus, that becomes minus 3x, making the plus x, and minus 3 times plus 2 is the minus 6. OK, don't make the usual mistake, I've said that plenty of times in other videos that I've done similar to this, don't make the mistake of saying 2x minus 3 is greater than 0 or x plus 2 is greater than 0. No, what you've got to do is to find the critical values. So the critical values are when this equals 0. So let's just put that down. We'll put 4 the critical values. OK. For the critical values, we see that 2x minus 3 must equal 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. And if we solve each of these by adding 3 to both sides here and then dividing by 2, we get x equals 3 over 2. That's 1 and a half. Or in this case, subtract 2 from both sides and we end up with x equals minus 2. OK, as usual, we draw a sketch of our function. Don't forget to label the graph the axis that is, and we're going to sketch the graph of y equals, and again you've got to be very careful here because these critical values relate to this particular expression up here, um, which was essentially 2x squared plus x minus 6 is greater than 0. So I'm going to look at the graph then of 2x squared plus x minus 6. So we we'll just write that up here, 2x squared plus x minus 6. And we found that the critical values were 3 over 2, 1 and a half, and minus 2. So I mark those on here because the critical values, you may remember, are the values where um, the x's that make y equal to 0, which would be the points where the graph would cross the x-axis. Now, because this is a plus x squared term, the graph will be a u-shape. So we can come down through here, through the minus 2, round there, and back up through the 3 over 2. OK, so we've got that. And what we're looking for, going back here, OK, don't forget, this is where y is greater than 0. We're not looking at this one up here anymore. So it's where y is greater than 0. Where is y greater than 0? Well, that's where y is above the x-axis. This is on these two branches of the curve here and here. OK, so we'll just mark them in up there 
and this one down here. And this part of the graph is where x is greater than 3 over 2 and this part of the graph is where x is less than minus 2. And we can write that kind of setup simply uh, like this. Let me just write though from the graph, from the graph, okay, we have x is less than minus 2, x is less than minus 2, or quite separately x is more than 3 over 2. Alright?